On Monday JNU student while demonstrating protest against fee hike lead to a tight situation amongst student and Delhi police. The protest led 15 students injured including a visually impaired student of the university. The JNU students will continue their agitation against the fee hike on Tuesday as well. Meanwhile, the Delhi police has denied all the allegations against them. The Jawaharlal Nehru University Students' Union JNUSU, JNU administration and hostile presidents will meet the three-member committee formed by the Human Resource Development HRD, ministry to recommend ways to restore normal functioning of the varsity. In a memorandum submitted by the students of JNU to the HRD ministry on Monday, the protesting students mentioned, the fact remains that there has been no fee hike rollback as claimed by the administration and rather than any relief to BPL, below poverty line, students, their misery has been compounded. The reality of that rollback is that virtually no fee has come down. The monthly hostel and mess expenses of students are set to rise from 2,700 Rs, per month on an average to 5,500 Rs, the memorandum read. Students claim that the Delhi police used brutal force during their demonstration and baton charged many who participated in the protest against the fee hike. The Delhi police has denied allegations on them and claimed that no force was used by any person and also stated that around 30 police personnel were injured while trying to contain protesting students. There was no use of water cannons, tear gas shells or lottie charge at any stage of the protest. Women staff was deployed in adequate numbers to deal with female protesters. Apart from 10 companies of CAP, around 800 Delhi police personnel were deployed to handle the protest and ensure the maintenance of law and order, a statement by the Delhi police said. Students took to social media and released pictures of their injured friends who were a part of the protest to prove their claims that the police had used brutal force on them.